Greetings, friends. Once again, it's an honor to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. I come to you today as a big dummy. What you see before you is my wife's Nissan Rogue. I don't drive it that often, but I happened to drive it the other day, and I noticed she was a little bit past due for her oil change. Yesterday, I picked up some oil at my local uh, pot store and a filter. And I took the car out for a ride to get it up to operating temperature because you always want to change the oil with the engine hot. And I uh, got it up on jacks, as you see. And I drained the oil, drained it out very nicely. And it was late, I was tired, so I said, I'll just let it drip overnight and I'll change the filter the next morning. My thought process there was because the oil filter is on a 90 degree angle, it makes quite a mess when you loosen it, oil drips everywhere. So I thought maybe if the engine was cold, the oil was cold, be less likely to make such a mess. What happened is uh, the oil filter, I can't get it off. If I had tried to take it off last night when the engine was hot, the seal would have been still very pliable and it probably would have come off very easily, although it would have made kind of a mess, as it usually does. But being the next day, this filter will not come off. Actually, the socket that I used to install it um, is just stripping around the outside of the filter. So that's the purpose of today's video, is getting that stuck filter off. This is the new filter I'm going to be installing, and I've already tried a, a couple of things to get the old filter off. This is a nice little device. As you try to loosen the filter, these uh, prongs tighten around it, and the more you uh, turn it, the tighter it gets. The problem is, the filter is uh, too small, so this isn't going to work. The other thing I've tried is these uh, filter pliers, but I'm not strong enough to really get a good grip on it to get it turned. These just keep slipping. Friends, here you see the filter I'm having trouble with. I haven't damaged it too much yet. Now for visual clarity, what I did is I removed the front wheel and I also removed this panel so you can see what's going on. It's not necessary to do that. So what I've got here, friends, is a chain style pipe wrench. I'm going to wrap it around the uh, filter and we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Oh, it looks like it's starting to turn. Okay. All right, now it's coming. I'm using quite a bit of uh, force here to get this to come off, but it is starting to loosen. Okay, so that wasn't too awful bad. You can hear it squeaking as it was coming off. That particular chain type uh, pipe wrench comes in handy for a lot of things. I use that sometimes for adjusting exhaust systems. Sometimes you get an exhaust system installed and you need to tweak it one way or the other. That pipe type wrench really works well for that. All right, I'm gonna get this off the rest of the way now. All right, so that would be a handy tool to have if you ever have a situation like this. So we'll let that drain out for a while and next time I will make sure I remove this when the engine is hot. Uh, once again, this is the uh, chain wrench I use, the chain uh, pipe wrench I use. I purchased this in the uh, 1970s as a young mechanic. I uh, know that they're still available. I just looked on Amazon. I don't know what brand this is. Is The markings are long since gone. And I don't remember what I paid for it back then. But you can buy a facsimile on Amazon for about $30 if you're interested in having such a tool. So friends, that's all I've got. I want to thank you for sticking with me, even though I'm a big dummy. Before I go, I will post two videos to your left. Hopefully you'll find one or the other of interest. And to your right, as always, will be a picture of my avatar in the form of my trusty German Shepherd. By all means, feel free to click on that should you wish to subscribe. So thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you all very, very soon.